Yeah, come on, crowd. Give it up for the Ujima babies. Give it up for the Ujima babies. Those of you that are tuning into us live on the stream, I apologize because we just now started. And of course, you know, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Oh, we got to blow them up. Got to blow them up. They're holding us hostage. You got to blow them up. But hold on, let me drink. Mm, mm, mm. And man, you know, because we, you know, we kind of, we kind of in a hurry today. It's one of those type of days we got to rush through what we got to do. We ain't going to really rush. We ain't got to rush. We gone. We could walk kind of smooth and cool. You know what I'm saying? But we want to make sure we get it done. Um, so yesterday, I had to test myself. So I had to take my uh, my car to my shop. And my shop is all the way on the north side. So it just so happened that, uh, so let's say it's on Cleveland up there by Northern Lights. Right, and I had a ride. My wife, my wife is down on Olatangi River Road where she worked, so I had to walk from Cleveland Avenue and where the uh, town center. What is it called? The, you know, I just said it. It's a right up there by Ngozi's Barbershop. You can look that up. Matter of fact, it's right next to Ngozi's Barbershop. I had to walk down there from there all the way to Olatangi River Road. Now. Little did I know, in my in my little head, I didn't map it out first. So I ended up going the wrong way. Well, not really the wrong way, but I went the wrong, I went the dangerous way. Cause there was no sidewalks damn near the whole route. And I ended up coming out farther north, about two miles farther north than I needed to come out. So, you know, I so I ended up walking about seven. It took me about an hour and a half, almost two hours, seven and a half miles, something like that. But I wanted to, you know, I wanted to test myself. I didn't want to test myself like that. Let me be clear. Me testing myself was not like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I ended up walking all the way down by Walnut Ridge High School. And, you know, so, but anyway, that was too damn far. So I'm sitting up here like, okay, cool. All right. Uh, so I did the walk, and I'm sore as hell, and um, but I'm happy. I'm happy that I was able to do it. I did it. Mm -hmm. I did it. I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but you know, I, I got some. I possibly got some bad news coming about my my vehicle. Uh, you know, alternator. So y'all know. So the budget, I'm gonna have to cut the, I'm gonna have to cut the production budget again. That's how I go. Mm-hmm. So anime, if you could, baby, anime, if you could, if you could, if you could, could you set us up for the next segment, please? It's the oh, proverb, 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 proverb time. Proverb, 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 proverb time. Proverb, 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 proverb. Those of you on the Ngoo Challenge family, we are on Ujamaa. Ujama, and I want to read the proverb of the day for you. First off, the date is 2 one seven two two dash six. All right, now for those that don't know, Ujama is cooperative economics. But anyway, proverb of the day. Proverb of the day is when the shadow of a tree is bent, straighten the tree, not the shadow. Wow, tell me, what does it mean to you? That's a good one. It's the proverb, 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 the 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 proverb. When a shadow of a tree is bent, straighten the tree. Not the shadow. Wow. Listen, that, if that ain't a writing prompt, I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? That is an excellent writing prompt. But hold on. One more drink. Mm-hmm. Excellent writing prompt. All right. Um, 
Really, and some food to think about. And I'm going to see if I can pull that into the rant of the day. The rant today is eight habits for building generational wealth, right? Eight things to focus on in building generational wealth. So, of course, you know, I'm covering it from a tribe perspective, right? But anyway, Anime, could you get me ready for the next segment, baby, please? Please? You got it. You said you got it queued up. But what's up? What's going on? You got it queued up, but what? Oh. Folk tale time. Folk tale time. Folk tale today. The fox and the lion. When a fox who had never yet seen a lion fell in with him by chance for the first time in the forest, he was so frightened that he nearly died with fear. On meeting him for the second time, he was still much alarmed, but not to the same extent as, as at first. On seeing him on the third time, he so increased his boldness that he went up to him and commenced a familiar conversation with him. Acquaintance softens prejudice. Mm. Get the message. Get the message. Get the message. I don't know if they're going to be able to get that one. Hey, you think they're going to get that? Get the message. The fox folk and the lion. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the term familiarity breed content. Hold on, hold on. The second time. Yeah, yeah. That's where that come from. Wow, that's a um that's a good story. Hope you get the message. Hope you get the message. And I mean, and this is something that could be used throughout society. It's I mean, that's a real good one. Real good one. All right, cool. So now, it's time for us to move to the rant. Time for us to move to the rant. All right, we ain't got no news today. We're going straight to the rant. So anime, could you could you baby, 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 if you would? Could you please? You know what I'm saying? Get everything set up for us. Get it set up. Is it is it set up? Are we set up? How's it going? Is it set up? Ah, uh, we ain't streaming on. We ain't streaming on homeboy today. We ain't doing that today, right? Uh uh on um what is it called? Uh Telegram. We're not streaming on Telegram this morning. Maybe tomorrow or maybe the next day. But anyway, um, so, once again, let me let y'all know what the rant is. Anime, can you get everything together? Okay. Okay, anime got it straight. Anime got it straight. All right, can I get my theme music, please? Because you know... I'm thinking all the time. I'm thinking all the time. I'm thinking all the time. I got to. I got to. So, the eight habits. Eight habits. Hold on. Eight habits for building generational wealth. Now, of course, this is from studies. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. This is a work in progress. Now, but of course, y'all know that when I talk about wealth building, I want you to understand that I'm not just talking about money. See, because a lot of, once again, when we talk about economics here at Giami, we understand that economics is not the science of money. You know what I'm saying? It's about the resources. Money is the medium of exchange, family. So we get caught up on the medium. Rather than get caught up on the actual things that the medium is designed to provide a transfer of, right? So we don't want to get caught on that. We want to develop wealth. We want to put ourselves and put our young people in positions where they can control the resources, thereby controlling wealth. Like, just imagine there's a housing boom, but the only place that people can get trees or wood from is you. Is that not wealth? You have something that people want to exchange their hard-earned money. They want to exchange their their, their money that they that they uh, uh, sold their time for. See, because when we exchange money, when we're exchanging, we're exchanging people's time. And time is very valuable. I keep on telling you, time is one of those resources that cannot be replenished. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, well, land, they ain't making no more land. And they ain't making no more time. So people are out here working and selling their time. So when we exchange money, we exchange the time. This is why I'm not really concerned about necessarily a whole market crashing. Because time is valuable. 
time maintains a value, even though people don't want to pay the price that your time is worth, right? It doesn't mean that you shouldn't stop shooting for it or that you should start um, not valuing your time and other people's time. I value people's time, right? This is why when people, in Giamme, one of the things I try to get out of is getting my people into a volunteer mind state. You should support the culture and the culture should support you. So when we're talking about wealth, when we're talking about this whole eight habits for building generation wealth, generation wealth, first off, we got to change how we think. Once again, going back, economics, cooperative economics from the term Ujima does not deal with money. It deals with the resources that you use your time to, um, that you trade your time for money so that you can exchange your money for the resources. So we're talking about getting hold of resources. All right. And then we talk about how it's important to form tribes around the wealth. Right. See, because the wealth, because check this out. Wealth is more than just money. Wealth is the resources. What's one of the resources that we have, family? We might not have no trees. We might not have no land. But the culture is a resource. Let me say that again. The co See, and those that don't believe me, think about the last time you had Chinese food. Was you not eating? Was you not eating something from a culture? How about the last time you stopped at Taco Bell, even though a corporation has to, Are you not eating on someone's culture? When the last time you took a martial arts class? You, you understand what I'm saying? When the last time you learned, tried to learn a foreign language? Are you not? Culture is a resource. And when the people respect the culture, they are able to, to use the culture to build to a point where they are able to put themselves in a position where they get control of resources that are connected to that culture. And this is what we're trying to do here at Giami Journey Media. So when we're talking about building wealth, we're not talking about just making your bank account big. We're trying to get control of resources that other people need, that people will be will willing to trade the money or trade their time to get. And we will be able to take that money or take that time that they are willing to give or move towards us to be able to use to build something great. ain't hearing me though nobody hearing me everybody out here playing i'm so sick of people playing games around me right when we talking about we, we we're talking about nation building right we're talking about nation building but yet you know say we got to walk on eggshells when we're talking about our culture we got to walk on eggshells when we're talking about building something for ourselves we got to walk on eggshells right we got to use other people's shit and have other people's permission and now you don't hear a Jimmy, I say fuck that. Hold on. Let me help me out, ancestors. Tell them something, Jones. Tell them something, Jones. Bitch, That's right. Tell them what? Tell them again, Tell Jones. Them Jones. Bitch, please. I can't do it. See, because I understand that I have to build generational wealth, not just money so that I can spend. It's not for me. I'm not invested in a little bit of Bitcoin I've got. I'm not invested in a little bit of Ethereum i got. I'm not invested in the XLM i got. I'm not invested in the little few stocks that i got so that I can have something. I'm doing it for the future generations of this tribe. What do you mean, Brother Hightail? If I put my children on a better foot and I put the right mind state in their mind, when they stumble across something that possibly could be a resource that they could use, they are going to go straight back to the tribe, to people that they could trust, and be able to pour into them and bring them into that business. Bring them into it. I want to I want to raise children around me that could look and be like, yo, one of our family members in need. I'm working at this place. I could bring this family member on because I've been working with them for a long time and I could coach them and get them to be able to fit into this climate to we are able to create our own climate to be in. And we could stack our bread. I want I want people around me to be thinking, hey, cool. Hey, that's a nice big house over there. If two 
or three of us get into this house, we can start stacking money and we can help the tribe build. See, many of us, we are giving our most valuable resources over to other people rather than us. So we're trading our time for a few more coins. See, found it for me. Let me say this. To you. Let me say this too. This is how. This, see, this 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 is this is how fucked up I am. Because a lot of people, I will stick in a place where I could continue working with my people, and forego a little bit of extra money, forego a lot of extra money, because I could be more helpful there, and I could build something more lasting there. Many of us, we change and we jump over to institutions that don't give a fuck about us or our people. And we'll work there and we'll slave there and we'll give all of our best. We'll give our creative ideas. And they will take that shit and they will use it against us. Family. So when it comes to building wealth, right? It's a tribal and a generational thing. I gave up a long time ago the whole idea that I'm going to be that one. No, I'm laying the groundwork. I'm laying the groundwork. I got a responsibility. I got a mission. I got a job. I got to lay the groundwork. I got I to gotta, I gotta squeeze out the room because my ancestors weren't able to be able to do it all the way like I'm, do, like I'm able to do it now. They weren't able to talk across the country and across the world like I'm able to do right now. So I have to make room for the future generations to be able to move. I got to make room for Cleveland, Gina, and Sasha. I got to make room for my older kids. I got I to gotta push out. And make room so that we can have the conversations that we need to that we need to have, and don't have to whisper about it, and don't have to be worried about who gonna be looking over our shoulder when we doing what we need to do. I need to I need to open up that space. I need to create that time. Remember, because we constantly talk about see those two resources that we have, space and time. See, real estate is not the only space that I'm talking about. I'm not just talking about just owning land. But do we have spaces where we can have real conversations? Do we have time to have real conversations? Or do I have to, do I have to structure my time around the, uh, the, 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 the goals and objectives of others? How are we going to build wealth? How are we going to build wealth? Slaving for others. Realize America, the whole goal of capitalism is a race to the bottom. I want to be able to produce the highest quality, high, not even highest quality. I, need, I want to produce the most products for the least amount of money. And in order to, to, to produce the, the most products for the least amount of money, I have to find the cheapest labor market. So this means that a few of us get to move up while everybody else has to stay down. That's the goal of America. And guess, guess, guess what team you on? Guess what side you on? Whether you making one hundred fifty thousand or sixty thousand, guess what side of the coin we on? Wealth is the ability to, to create something of value for yourself and others. Do you have time? Do you do you even have your own time to create something of value for others? Right. See, this is why. When you start throwing accountability into the tribe piece, people get uncomfortable because now I got to, I got to be responsible for my time. Can't hold me accountable. I got to go to work. The fuck is you talking about? Mm. We need to be, some of us are too old to be this stupid. 
We're giving away our best. I keep telling y'all the story of my grandfather, of him working outside of our community his whole life, and what they rewarded him with was poverty. And many of us are walking the same goddamn route. Some of us have been working on jobs for damn near 20 and 30 years, and the retirement that they got us on is Proper lever. It's it's proper. P A U P E R. It's 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 poverty, grief and suffering. And you done worked all this time, and then you're gonna have to argue with. I want you to think about this. You have to argue with your insurance company about what medical treatment you deserve, and you're gonna have to have that discussion with people who aren't even doctors. But not if we start building wealth. Not if we not if we come to our, our our sense and we start learning how to harness our culture. We start learning how to harness our skills. And we start building. Like I keep on telling you, family, I'm not asking you for no more than two hours a day. I'm not asking you for no more than two hours a day. As a matter of fact, I think you deserve to give yourself two hours a day. What some of y'all try to do is you lead, you live to the weekend. You work hard to the weekend, and then you chill on your day off. Your day off from what? What are you off from? Huh? What are you off from? What are you off from? Hmm. What does it to create something of value for yourself and others? Some of y'all got these books that our people need. Some of y'all got these thoughts that our people need. Some of you got these shows that our people need. Some of you got these products that our people need. Some of you got these health products that your aunt, that some of your ancestors done helped you learn, or some of your some of your elders have left you secrets that you need to be able to be out here sharing. But no, you out here giving it to others. Huh. Wealth is ability to create something of value for yourself and others, and to leave something behind. For the future generations. Here are some questions to wrestle with. Damn, I'm on 15 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I got hyped. I'm sorry. What does the term generational wealth mean to you? Writing prompts. Get your uh, Nguza Saba challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I'm trying to give you stuff that's going to help you. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help build. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the proceeds from this go to this. And go to the young people, and even some of the grown folks. Because I would love to be able to get somebody a full-time job to help me with this shit. I ain't asking nobody to volunteer because that shit is crazy to me. What's the term generational wealth mean to you? What is wealth to you? And what are you passionate about? And the reason I ask that question is because once you find what you are passionate about, that's something that you will be able to pour yourself in and start producing results. Once you figure this out, once you figure it out, what it is, right? You can get yourself with the right team and we can figure out, or you can figure out with your team, or you can figure out with your tribe, that one thing that you love to do and see, hey, I like doing this. And then you 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 got to have one person that's able to look at all this shit sometime. Be like, hey, we need that over here. Oh, we can use that skill over here. We oh, hey, such and such. Oh, and, and we need to be able to have people that can sit back and be like, damn, how can I put all these pieces together? Because we are our, our tribes are puzzles. But many of us are operating in the wrong place. We're trying to force puzzle pieces. And we're trying to get one puzzle piece to be in three places at once. But those that have put a puzzle together, you know that's impossible. The puzzle piece go where the puzzle piece go. Last, what do you think is the most important element of creating generational wealth? Writing prompt. Come on. Get your books out. Get your journals out. Get the writing. Hold on. Now, here we go. Generational wealth is an ambitious goal and it's ambitious. It's something bigger than you. <laughs> it's something worth living and dying for. Right? You know, like I, you know, I, 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 
I was thinking about writing a story, and I told y'all, I'm thinking about writing a story about an individual that receives a deal to sell his soul. But he's going to sell his soul for his future generations. So the deal goes like this. I will make sure, in a sense, in you selling your soul, that your future generations will be able to have access to wealth. They will have access to, they will have access to wealth. And you'll be able to write out what that wealth is. But the only thing is, because this is the part that's going to work, they will despise you. They won't pour libations for you. They won't even remember your name. You will be a plight on them. Every time your name come up, people will spit. Will you be, would you be willing to do that? And that's the main character will have to wrestle with that thought. All my future generations. And they'll do good. And you'll be able to look and be able to see them doing good. But you will have to be in torment. Because hell for African is what? Say it with me now. Come on now, hell for African is what? Mm. But in order for your family to receive the boost to be able to jump forward, there needs to be a sacrifice. And the question that, that is being asked to this individual is, are you willing to be that sacrifice? You will be the model that everybody will strive to move against. And because they're moving against you, it will give them the force in life to be great. Damn. And nobody will know for at least five to seven generations what you did. Wow. Wow. A strategy designed around multiple streams of revenue will enable the business builder to, or the tribe builder uh, to build the resources needed to de deliver products and services that stand the test of time, offer great value, and provide exceptional service. Here are eight points. Eight habits to start building. Check this out. Develop a clear vision. Like when, you know, in developing the habits, one of the things you want to do is develop the clear vision and have the ability to revisit the vision. This ain't just a vision board and shit like this. This is actually being able to work through the steps in your mind, actually being able to see, right, what it is. Develop a clear vision of the future. Wealth is measured by your health, relationships, and freedom. Wealth is measured. Listen. See, because that changed the whole piece. Because a lot of y'all is like, oh. Health, relationships, and freedom. And you're like, brother, how tell him that? What about money? Let me tell you something. If you are healthy and you have the right relationships, <laughs> And you have the freedom, which means you have you are in control of your time. Mm. You able to create what you need. Have an open mind. Be willing to change your mind. Be able to make a decision. Be like, oh, I need to change that. Be able to look at your. Well, I need to change that. Be willing is a habit. Be willing to invest time and energy in yourself and learn to create value for others. Get in the habit of investing in yourself. Time and energy in yourself and learn to create value. You always looking at something saying, damn, can, is that valuable to somebody? You have, you have to have the mind state of being able to recognize value or be even, and even being this deep, being able to recognize the value of something tomorrow. That's worthless today, but I know tomorrow is going to be, ooh, wait. And even being able to be one of those, and this is where you're really powerful, when you are able to be able to look at something and make it valuable. That's a habit. You got to get into the habit of being able to do that, Being get into the habit of being a, uh, a promoter, get into the habit of being a, a prophet. It's a habit. 
of being able to 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 build the stadium before the people come. Like they say in that one movie, I think it's the Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. Many of us too scared to get out there and build it, even with our own resources. Even when we are, you know what I'm saying, we scared. Stop being scared. Scared is a habit. Scared is a habit. You can change it. You ready? Here's another. Here's another habit. Seek advice from wise people. Mm. Wise don't always mean that they got money because some people with money are some of the stupidest. Some of them are stupid. Some of them are smart too. I mean, it is. But then you got some people who might not have the desire for the monetary gain but are very wise. Seek advice from wise people. This is what I'm struggling with. Live within your means so you don't tie your money up. You know what I'm saying? You need to live within your means so that you can have the freedom, time, and space to be able to invest, create, and do things that will produce future revenue. That's number five. Number six, diversify your investment to reflect your goals. Now, those of you that be like, brother, I think I got enough money to invest. If you send the money on Cash App, you're lying. If you're sitting on the phone watching me right now, you're lying. You might need to go to a cheaper bill and take that little extra $10 and go on and start buying fractional stock, buying fractional coins, buying fractional investments, saving up so that when a big investment comes, you are going to be able to pull down three or $4,000 because sometimes you'll be surprised how much a three to $4,000 investment might be able to get you. Especially if you follow some, you develop some of these habits. Hold on. Diversify your investments to reflect your goals. Be willing to lose money. Check this out. Be willing to lose money as an investment in future generations. Generations. Be willing to lose money as an investment in future generations. Your primary focus should be the creation of wealth and not just money. So in order to create wealth, you got, you got to invest in people. So you got to be be willing to invest money or in a sense even lose money on future generational ventures. I'm investing in you. I'm investing time in you. You're going to come to this training with me. You're going to sit through this training. You're going to do this course. Because I'm telling you right now, some of our kids, they ain't going to get it right now. They ain't going to get it. But I want you to think about some of the stories that Brother High Tim is telling you. Because one of the reasons I tell you all the stories is so that you can use my experience to glean from it. Then also use it to trigger something you to reflect. How much stuff were you able to receive when you was young? And how much stuff are you putting in action now? Because you are able to reflect upon and be like, damn, that was, oh man, if I was to act on that. What happens when we get, when we develop that generation? It's like, ooh, that makes sense. At 20 rather than at 50. Ooh. <sighs> right? That's able to 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 don't, as they say, don't eat the cookie. They're able to sit there and look at the cookie and be like, ah, I'm gonna wait for two later. Rather than to be one of those, I need the cookie now. See, because the people that eat the cookie now, what that is coming from is a lack, limited, and a poverty mindset. If I don't get it now, it ain't gonna be there. What we got to be able to do is develop a culture where our children feel comfortable enough that their culture is always going to produce something for them. And the people involved in their culture is always going to produce something for them. But that's kind of hard when they watch us fighting over pennies, arguing over bullshit. Number eight, last one. Let time do its job. Spend only what you have and let compound interest do the rest. Honorable mission, right? Once again, create value, create value, create value. Become valuable to the people around you, right? Develop valuable peer groups, right? Just don't be hanging with people just to hang with them. Find what they can add to your group. Build tribe. Add to the tribe. Add to your present tribe. And let people know that's what you're doing. Dude, I need, we need you in this tribe. 
know what I'm saying? I mean, like we can. Oh, oh, well, okay. Well, I need what? Well, listen, you coming in wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'll find somebody else with these skills. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, dog. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to beg nobody. This your culture. We're just trying to make sure you get it. We're trying to make sure you protect it. Go and get your money by yourself so that you could die broke because that's how they're going to do you. How many people we got in Generation X that, that I mean, that, that, that worked their whole life for these people, for our people outside of our grouping? You know what I'm saying? Now they retiring and ain't got shit. Trusted in them. In 2008, lost all of it. Got to work at Walmarts and shit. Come on now. What? We, we ain't gonna learn? Anyway. Um, anime, did I do it? Damn, 20 minutes. Oh my God. I guess I did do it. All right, cool. Anime, did I do it? Can you hit it? Can you hit that, please? Can you do my theme music? You're damn right. Man, and that is it. And class is dismissed. Now get the hell up out of my classroom. Some of y'all be here crying about, don't let them hear you. Don't let them hear you, Brown. Come on, Brother Hotel. Come on now. All right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to let you go and do this pledge real quick. Daily Pledge, come on now. Minute by Get on minute. it. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your history. You lose your history. You lose your power. You lose your power. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your faith. You lose your faith. You lose your power. You lose your power. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your history. You lose your history. You lose your power. You lose your power. You lose your faith. You lose your power. You lose your power. If it is to be. If it is to be. It's up to me. It's up to me. I feel good about myself. I feel good about myself. Call on the ancestors and the creator to watch over us as we do this African pledge. I pledge allegiance to my people. I pledge allegiance to my people. The African race. The African race. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. And the founders of civilization. And the founders of civilization. I pledge to continue to struggle. I pledge to continue to struggle. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. To total freedom. To total freedom. I pledge to study and discipline myself. I pledge to study and discipline myself. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. I pledge to live my life standing tall. I pledge to live my life standing tall. For a person on his knees is not respected. For a person on his knees is not respected. If I am challenged, if I am challenged, I must say I will not surrender. I must say I will not surrender. My position or my dignity. My position or my dignity. But instead I will endure. But instead I will endure. Until the final victory is won. Until the final victory is won. Hold tight. Hold tight.
Shots out. Here we go. Sorry about that. Forgot, I forgot, I forgot. But anyway, um, thought I had everything together. But family, for those that are interested in getting their ancestors on our daily toast list, is is an easy process. Just follow these instructions. Go to gnj.media or go to giamijourney.com. Look for the follow list. Click the link and put your email address in and you will be added to our email list. Um, also, you're going to be introduced to the 7 Day Nguza Saba Challenge, which is uh, um, actually, you're going to be introduced to our free e-course, a free e-course. And you're going to be able to go on and learn a little bit more about Jami, but you're going to also be able to correspond with us. And in corresponding with us, you can let us know what answers you want to add to the list. Also, you can, you know, comment about other stuff. You can, if there's people you want us to put on the list for us to toast daily, um, daily for like 21 days so we could go on and um, send out that balance and energy, you could do the same. All right, so let's get it. So I'm going to use a um, drink that Brother Clee came up. You know, Brother Clee will make it right now. You know, even though I got to make, I got a damn near pull of tea. He ain't called nobody. Ain't called nobody. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Car broke down, so I think this weekend we're going to be making some deliveries. So we got a couple of reds. Got a couple of ginsengs. Kwame's mix is already done. So anyway, and we got a lot of original. But, you know, worst come to worst, they all mine. We lift up our glass, we salute, and we raise our glass to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. And then we move to our personal ancestors and we lift up our glass and we're going to our personal ancestors and we lift up our glass and we salute those personal ancestors as we do it every day here on Giami Journey Media at 5.45 a.m. Family, you can check out all of our, all of our streaming platforms where we're streaming at. You can see that we're streaming it every day. We're lifting up our glass and we say, I say. We lift up our glass. We lift up our glass and we salute. Because right now we are on the reason that we are here right now. We are here toasting the moment, lifting up the moment, celebrating the moment. Family, I ask you, I ask you to open up your reticular formation and seek out the principle of the day, which is Ujamaa. Seek it out, talk about it, share it. Use it in your business presentation. Use it in your school presentation. Use it in in everything that you do today. You know what I'm saying? Have a conversation with somebody about it. Lift up your principles so your principles can lift up you. Lift up your culture so your culture can lift up you. It's a reciprocal relationship and family. Your culture is just waiting for you so that it can reward you and us. So family, um, for those that don't know, Ujima means cooperative economics. Reciprocity is... Demotic principle. Gratitude is the hermetic principle. Green is the color, as you can see by the shirt. You go on, you go into the store and you can go and get you. I mean, well, you go to, we got a store. Uh, if you go to gnj.media, click on it, take you to the store. Might even got one on um, Giami Journey. Matter of fact, I'm going to put one on Giami Journey. But if you want a shortcut, go merch.gnj.media. You go and get your daily toaster shirt. Um, polarity is the hermetic principle. Male name for the day is Yao. Female name is Yao. We raise up our glass and we salute. We salute, we salute, we salute. And we say, Ashe. Damn, I wasn't supposed to drink. It smells like it. So, near family, we move to our children, our children's children, onto infinity. We lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. Near family, we lift up our glass. We're going to send out that healing energy to all of our family members, all of our tribe members that are in need of it. We're sending out that energy. We got Elder Tony West. We got Elder Debbie Bowie. And we got Brother Kwesi Kenyatta. We got Kwesi Lo Kenyatta. So we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. We start with the creator. And we end with the creator. And we say, Ashe. 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 Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. And that's a wrap. Ha, ha, ha. I will catch y'all in the morning. Peace out, fam. Mr. <laughs> Daddy.
You are now listening to GNJ.com.